How's your energy, Southern Arizona? Good evening to you. I'm Paul Sikala, and as you can see, I'm not in the studio. I am actually live in downtown Phoenix. I'm at the site where the Phoenix Suns suit up during their home games. But on Monday, it'll be part of the Super Bowl opening night, which is the traditional media day, and it's open to all for just 20 bucks. It's lots of fun. Not just that, starting tomorrow, just a couple blocks away from where I'm standing at the convention center, it'll be the Super Bowl experience. <laughs> Some fan favorites for many Tucsonans, like the Cowboys and Raiders, are on full display at the NFL Super Bowl experience in downtown Phoenix. This is in addition to venues that show blown up tickets from every Super Bowl. Something appreciated by a group from Pima County who are actually helping set up the event. What type of pride as a Tucsonan do you have to come on over here to the Phoenix area and work at the Super Bowl? Oh man, it's just great pride, amazing pride. To be part of something, you know, this scale and size, you know, to be able to this experience for the fans, for us, it's just a great experience being here. This is footage of last year's Super Bowl experience in LA. And this season, here's a glimpse of what you can expect at the Phoenix Convention Center where it all takes place. Starting Saturday, fans will get to walk around this fun venue to check out NFL memorabilia and even test their skills in certain challenges, such as field goal kicks for regular Joe Schmoes like you and me, playing on miniature fields, or interaction with guest NFL stars. You're seeing our 500,000 square feet of build out here for the Super Bowl experience that opens tomorrow, 10 a.m. We actually have Zach Ertz, Super Bowl 52 winner, that's going to debut the Vince Lombardi Trophy tomorrow. So and the Friday media tour went from here at the Footprint Center, where the Phoenix Suns play behind me, where they're, of course, going to have the NFL Super Bowl Media Day activities, open to the public for just 20 bucks on Monday to the Convention Center. And that's where we're going to have more on the fan experience itself. I mean, a lot of people come for the fans, because yeah. they're NFL fans, but some people just like to see the spectacle. The weirdos, the people dressed up, <laughs> asking the crazy questions yep. on purpose to get these weird answers from the NFL athletes. I mean, talk about how, in a sense, you know, fans that come here not only get that NFL experience with the players, but they're going to get to see the craziness, the international, yep. uh, the international media that comes here. People from all parts asking weird questions. Yeah, well, what we like to say right. is there's something for everybody for Super Bowl, <laughs> right? Like whether you are tuning in to see the game, which we hope everybody is, but then of course for game day, there's halftime, there's our pregame here tonight, you know, or Monday night for opening night. We'll have not only the players, but fan activations. There's things to do. There's food. There's drink. You can get a cold Bud Light. You can get a cold Pepsi, and just really be here to be a part of the experience. An experience. A Tucson Rhino. These Tucsonans will be treasuring all week long. Hey, and two of the Tucsonans that I talked to today, they went to Sabino and Flowing Wells, and they are happy to represent their high schools right here in Phoenix. Don't forget, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., the Super Bowl experience starts right here in Phoenix. Everybody's welcome to go. It's only $20. Reporting live from Phoenix, Super Bowl coverage, Paul C. Kala, News 4, Tucson. All right, Paulie, good job up there, up there in mm -hmm. Phoenix. 